recap part one of this video. Number one, engage in the community. Leave comments on people's videos with the genuine intent of actually trying to have a conversation with people. Your goal is to try to get people to know who you are and not just to know that you have a channel with videos. You actually want people to engage with you and get to know your personality. If people like your personality, they are more than likely to want to check out your channel. If you have engaging discussions, more than likely you're going to have a lot of people commenting under that comment. You're more than likely going to be top comment and therefore people are going to want to see who the hell is this guy? Who is this strength over size guy? Let me check out his videos. Okay, and that is where I go into how to retain your subscribers because if you have crappy videos, you ain't gonna get subscribers no matter how many comments you leave. Number two, do not spam videos. Do not go on videos trying to leave multiple comments saying check out my video or check out my channel or sub to me. You will just be ignored, be attacked, or be marked as spam by YouTube. Therefore, no matter what comment you leave on that person's videos, you will just go straight to the spam box and therefore you will ruin your chance of getting any more subscribers. So be genuine. Be genuine and actually want to talk to the people that you want to watch your videos. Another point to add to that, do not reply to every single person that you can see on someone's video. First off, you're not gonna have enough time to have a conversation with 10 different people, and I guarantee you that you're not actually gonna wanna do it in the first place, even if you had time. It's just too tedious, it's too time consuming, and it just isn't worth your time if you're trying to get subscribers. So again, it is cool to admit that you want subscribers. We are all YouTubers, we want subscribers. But just go about it in a better way than spamming. It gets annoying, and you could actually be hurt by Google by doing that, okay? So just take heed to my message. Now let's get into part two of this video. Now this way is a little bit harder to get subscribers than to engage in the community. Engaging in the community is the easiest way, is the best way to get subscribers and to get yourself known out there. The second way above that, in my opinion, is to do shout outs and collaborations. Now it's a little bit harder, but it can be more rewarding depending on who you get to collab with or who you get to shout you out. Okay, now for example, someone like me, a lot of people come to me asking me to collaborate with them or to give them shout outs, right? And I always say no. In regards to the shout outs, I already made, I think, several videos, like a good three videos explaining that I will be doing shout outs when I reach 25,000 subscribers. I said that, and some people just don't like to accept that answer. I don't know why they feel like I'm obligated to shout them out just because I reached a certain number of subs and I replied to everybody. For for example, that guy I told you I blocked in the last episode, he was getting mad saying I was selfish for not giving him a shout out and saying I was making up excuses as to why I didn't want to give him a shout out. When I said, no, I am not making an excuse. I'm not trying to make an excuse as to why I don't want to give you a shout out. I told you just like everybody else in the video that I will do shout outs when I am ready. And no, he was not accepting that. He was basically saying, I don't care when you're ready. You should shout me out, stop being selfish, and whatever, whatever. Nobody is obligated to ever share their success with you, especially if they don't even know you. Those are the type of YouTubers, those small YouTubers that I try to avoid. Because to them, they just seem like users. You don't see them going to Chris Jones asking for a shout out, going to CG, Max Tuning, going to like Nick Wright, going to the Hodge Twins, going to whoever, Mike Rasheed, Mark Lobeliner. You don't see them going to those YouTubers asking for shout outs. And trust me, a lot of those YouTubers that I just mentioned read their comments. But because I'm a smaller channel and I reply to everybody, I'm just somehow obligated to give everybody a shout out according to that guy most of the people ask me for a shout out you guys are like that you guys are cool I talk to you guys in my DMs or my message box I let you guys know what's up right I let you guys know what's up I even tell you that I'm watching you even if I don't comment on all of your videos or comment on your videos at all just know that I'm watching some of you guys I'm seeing your growth and one guy in particular who I subscribed to from when he had like 20 subscribers right he probably knows who he is if he's watching this I even told him the other day that I'm going to work with him even though he only has like a thousand or 2,000 subscribers, I told him I'm going to work with him. I don't care how many subs you have. If I see that you make quality videos and I can start creating ideas in my mind of how we can work together and I feel like it will be a good addition to my channel, I would go for it. I don't care if you have a 1,000 subscribers, 2,000, 3,000 and I have more than you. I just want to make good quality videos. Some people ask me for shout outs, they just started their channel. They didn't even make three YouTube videos yet, four YouTube videos yet, and they already want to do a collab. I told them, no, actually make YouTube videos. 
videos first. Be on YouTube for at least six months until I ever decide that I'm gonna, you know, collaborate with you or do give you a shout out. I wanna see you put in the work first, right? Because I wouldn't even do that. I would not just start off a channel and then go to someone like Omar Esau or something and say, yo, can you give me a collab? Can you give me a shout out? Come on, some YouTubers do that, but seriously, when I, the only time I ever asked for a collaboration, which was with Omar Yusuf, was when I had 3,000 subscribers. After I had 3,000 subscribers and I had over 100,000 views and over 150 videos, then I decided to ask Omar for, for a, a, a shout out, or not, not a shout out, for a collab. And that was because you guys were asking me to ask him. I kept saying no, but then I said, you know what, fine, let me go for it. I didn't get a response and I left it at that. I never grew my channel by getting a shout out or getting a, a collaboration with anybody. I did get a shout out from POG, but that was because I entered the contest and I somehow was a runner up. And I got a lot of subscribers from that. But again, that doesn't happen all the time, okay? So when you ask for shout outs, yes, it is harder, but if you get the harder shout outs from like someone from like POG or CG, you get a lot of subscribers. If you go the easier way and get shout outs from someone who has like a thousand subscribers or 500 subscribers, yeah, you get the shout outs, but you're not gonna get a lot of subscribers from you. So the harder it is, as I said in the other video, the more subscribers you get. The easier it is, the less subscribers you get, which is why I always go back to doing engaging in the community. Even for collabs, you can do collaborations with people and bigger YouTubers are more likely to give you a collaboration than a shout out. They would actually more likely want to train with you and work with you in person than give you a shout out. Because shout outs, I don't like shout outs. I'm not, I'm not a fan of them. I never asked for one. I don't really care for shout outs or anything. I just want to make videos for you guys that you guys enjoy. But Again, I would not mind giving shout outs to people who are smaller than me to help them grow when I am ready to do so and so I'm able to do it in the way that I want to. For people who don't want to accept that, then fine. The ones that even upset me the most are the ones who try to act like, Hey Simon, I've been watching your videos for a while now. Check out my video. I'm like, no you haven't. Trust me, I would have seen you comment at least once because I recognize a lot of you guys in the SOS family. And when a new guy comes in and says, I've been watching your videos for a long time, check out my channel, I know you haven't been. Because some, then I will go into their subscriptions to see who they're subscribed to and they're not even subscribed to me. So I'm like, you're a liar. But then I go and I watch the person's video, I'll give them a tip. I'll give him a tip that's like a paragraph long and the guy's like, thank you. And I never hear from the guy ever again because he didn't get what he, he didn't get what he wanted from me, which is like a shout out or whatever. So I'm like, again, this is why I'm so selective and picky with who I'm ever gonna decide to give a shout out or collab with. You gotta watch out for these people. Don't just share your success with random people because some people wouldn't even do the same for you. So really be picky and selective with who you work with. Another thing about shout outs or collaborations I mean, if you're gonna go and ask someone to collaborate with you, make sure you actually bring an ideal to that person at least. Even if he says no, at least have a, have a good ideal of what you wanna do for the collaboration. Do not go to someone, ask them for a collaboration and be like, hmm, so uh, yeah, what do you think we should do? Uh, you know, we could work out together. No, no, at least with me, no, that's not gonna work with me at least. I don't wanna just do a collaboration where we just like, oh, we just figure it out. Like, well, let's think about what we're gonna do. Like, no, for me, if I'm ever gonna go and ask someone to collaborate with them, I am going to go to them and make sure I have an ideal that's gonna also benefit them. I'm not just gonna go to them and say, hey, uh, Omar Yusuf, let's just uh, train together and put me on your channel. Th like, no, that's just, it's no point. You're not, any, you're not any benefit. So for me, I think of an idea that I think will work for both of us. And if he likes it, he likes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But at least I had an idea, right? If you want someone to invest in your business, you want to create a business plan. You just go to him and say, hey man, uh, can you give me $5,000 to start this business? And you're like, oh, so what's the business? Uh, I don't know. I was just thinking, you know, we can sit down and think about it. You're never hearing from that guy again. So again, do not treat YouTubers like they're just free subscribers. As I said, be genuine. Being genuine is the most important thing you could ever be if you want to grow your channel. Some people get away with it by being scamming and stuff, being scammy and whatnot, but being genuine, trust me, is the best way to get subscribers, is the best way to retain subscribers. Even if you're genuine in what you do and people don't like you, it will still work, okay? So to recap the video, number one, for me, I am not doing shout outs until I reach 25,000 subscribers and until I'm ready. Okay, when I'm ready, trust me, the shouts I give, I'm gonna actually put time into it. I'm not just gonna shout you out just because. I may do shouts before that, but those are under special circumstances that me and that person will have discussed, or if I just decide that I want to do it out 
like just because I wanted to. So be be on the lookout for that. I may give some people a shout out just because, especially if they're my friend in real life. Yeah, they don't really have any type of of. I'll give them a shout just because you know I've known them for years and whatnot. But as for YouTubers, you guys come to me. Trust me, I will watch you. I will see if you're shout out worthy. If you're not, I will tell you why I say that. I will try to give you tips as to what you can do to grow so that when I do give you a shout out, you actually benefit from it. Number two, actually put work into your channel. You know, have more than freaking 50 videos at least before you ask someone for a channel, for a shout out or, or a collaboration. Put work into your channel okay doesn't really matter about the, the number of subscribers you have just put work into your channel and then have a good idea and again do not get upset if people say no not everybody's gonna want to work with you okay not everybody's gonna want to work with you not everybody's gonna want to shout you out just just accept the no and move on okay and continue working on your channel that's what I did and it's working out pretty fine for me number three realize that the harder the shout out and the harder the collab it is to get such as going for a bigger channel the more subscribers you would get but if you're willing to put in that time to make it work then do it or you could go the easier way and get shout outs and collaborations from a bunch of smaller channels and i'm sure you get subscribers that way but again that could be even time consuming also and for me i'm just like that's just not what i like to do i like engaging the community and just having organic relationships with people in the community that's how i am not everybody's like me and not everybody's gonna be like you. So figure out your way on how you wanna go about building your channel. Would you like to do both engaging? Engage the community, that's like mandatory. Please engage in the community. But if you like to do shout outs and collaborations, which, is, which isn't something that I'm too fond of, go, go and do it. But again, be okay, accept the answers if people say no. Don't get upset at them and blah, 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 okay? And I think that is it for the video. If I missed anything in the recap, you guys can just go back and watch the video again. And I hope this video did help you guys. I'll be bringing more videos on how to get more views, how to set up your channel, blah, blah, blah. I'll try to give you as many tips as I possibly can in the future, okay? So I'll talk to y'all next time. Done. And have it grow is how do you grow your channel how do you get more subscribers what should I do to get more views so instead of answering every single one of